What's up, mentorship freaks? That daily dose of the mentorship motivator. Okay, we're today we're gonna talk about humor, but first, before that, there's three things: make them think, make them laugh, make them cry. That's the three things you need to do in order to, first to connect to someone and ultimately to sell them whatever the hell it is you're selling them. But today we're gonna focus on the humor. If they laugh, then they buy. But we also say if they cry, they buy. If they think, they buy. If you can get them to think differently than other people. But today we're focusing on the humor and sense of humor is one of your the quickest rapport builders that you could possibly have there's nothing better than two friends just sitting in, in a in a close space laughing together like for us that's a, a small consultation room where we do our, our one-on-one sales meetings and there's nothing better than having you're, you're there that means you're comfortable you've broken that barrier so find find some humor right off the bat find some way to crack a joke sarcasm whatever your style is you need to figure that out find some humor right in the beginning like Right in your intros, even if possible, getting in the process of getting to know them. And at that point, it has to be pretty general if you don't know that person yet. So you don't really know what kind of humor is going to work for them, what kind of sarcasm is going to work for them. But you need to get the humor is going to break that rapport right off the bat. So the sooner that you can get them to laugh, that sooner they're going to show you a sign of their approval and a sign of them. They, they walk in there like this to that sales conversation. That's a sign of them dropping their guard, lowering their guard, and be a little more open and receptive to. The shit you're about to sell them. So the sooner they can laugh, the better. The, the sooner it is, it's a sign of approval. It's a sign of them being just more relaxed and they're sitting back, they're laughing, their guard is down. Realizing that now you've gotten them on your side instead of clashing, butting heads, it's now gonna be smooth going on this together as you're helping them as like a co-buyer, helping them to determine what, they're, that, that, what they need, what's gonna be a good fit for them, what program or product or service that you offer is gonna be a good fit for them. So try to get a good feel for at first and as quick as possible. If you don't know the person, you need to determine what type of humor they have. What is their sense of humor? What is their personality so that you could connect with them or what, what kind of humor they're going to connect with or what kind of humor they're going to appreciate. To me, if, if I can, if I hear them drop an F bomb, like early on in, in the sales process, I'm like, this motherfucker's mine because they're speaking my language. Now I know I could take it there and now I could, you're the, the, the doors are open to kind of approach that and really go all in on it. If, if they sit down and you're like, how, how, how was your day so far? Whatever. Or did you find the place right? Oh, it's fucking traffic out there. They say something like that to me, especially in the beginning. That motherfucker's mine. If they, if they break that F-bomb barrier, they're mine. Because they're, now, now they're in my world. They're speaking my terms. So same thing with humor. So think about that. That's how you're going to apply it to the humor. you got to kind of figure that out. And it's just about good with reading people. Of course, they're body language, their tonality, their eye contact, how they are, how they're responding to whatever kind of jokes or stories that you have built into your sales presentation. So you need to also get a feel for the appropriate time of your humor and your jokes and your stories and whatever else. Because a good joke or a story at the wrong time becomes a bad joke or a story. You're just going to fuck everything up. There's no worse, there's no easier way to lose rapport than to do something like that. You're not going to crack a joke at a time when you're digging their pain or they're telling you some serious story or whatever. Time and a place for everything, right? You need to determine what that is. Also, in your humor, you're trying not too much, especially not your competition. You're not you're not really making fun of someone else. If, if possible, use yourself as an example. Use yourself in your stories, your personal example, your personal stories, your personal humor, cracking jokes about yourself. So they could they're also gonna see that you're not you're not that serious, that you're semi-freaking human. So Telling a joke through a story, even a better way. Of course, you tell stories, you have humor. You can combine those two together. That's fucking gold right there. Combine a story with the humor and make that now a personal story with humor built into it. Forget it. A story and then somehow that it relates to what you're talking about and moves you closer to the sale or the information that you're presenting to them. If you have a, a personal story with humor related to your sale and product and service that moves them along. That's like fucking money, right? That's like that's like dynamite, like boom, right there. If it's if it's personal to you or your business, it's gonna ensure also that it's an original story or humor. It's not some lame fucking joke they heard somewhere else, right? So it's gonna be something they couldn't have heard anywhere else because it's personal to you. That's why personal stories work the best. Or if depending on the situation or or what the story is about, you can tell a story about someone else, someone you know, a friend of yours, and someone else. But make it original because then not just some lame fucking joke that's out there on the internet or something. That's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about being creative. 
with your humor, with your storytelling, combine that shit together so it's original, not some lame old joke they've heard already a, a ton of times. And so throughout the whole time, you have, you have to be aware. Part of your social awareness is listening for their humor, listening for their sarcasm, and you're going to be able to tell a lot about them. Not just about what approach you can use in your own storytelling and your own humor, but it's going to tell you about how fucked up they are in their head. Where, where are they at in this process, in this journey in their head? Are they bashing themselves? They have low self-esteem because that's, you know, they're making fun of themselves in a bad, you know, degrading way. You're going to learn a lot about them, about their, listen for their humor. What type of humor and sarcasm do they have to help you get, gather more intelligence to continue moving you closer to the sale? And when it comes to stories, telling jokes, combining them together, personal stories and jokes, answering questions with humor, you need like anything else, you need to practice this shit. Do not go and practice out there on freaking money. You practice on practice and execute on money. You need to practice this stuff in your role playing with your team by yourself. Look in the fucking mirror. Look at a camera. Practice it. Record yourself and then go back and, and look at it and how did it go. Think of and think of what type of reaction you're going to get. And if it's fucking stupid, obviously cut it. So practice telling those stories. Practice telling those jokes. Like anything else, you need to get your reps in. Build up your humor. Build up your sarcastic freaking muscles like everything else. By putting the reps in. It's just like going to the gym. Then when you do do this, keep a file. Like we, we keep a file of everything. It's something I haven't done enough of, but we started doing a while ago, but I need to add to it because there's so many other stories and humor and jokes that we've added in that haven't been added to the file. But keep a humor file on your, in your, somewhere in your, your system, on Google Drive or whatever, with different stories, what topics they were related to. Then also, Keep track of what type of reactions you get. Of course, you're going to take mental notes and you're going to remember. Like there, there's been times where I, I've thought I've said, told like a great story or a great joke that was fucking funny as hell to me. And you get no reactions. You're like, all right, maybe I'll try that. with Maybe it's the wrong crowd for that type of joke. So you try it again. If it doesn't work with a different type of crowd where you thought it should have, probably it's a stupid fucking story or joke and no one gets it except for you because you're all fucked up in your head. So probably scratch it, but keep track of it. Keep notes of it. Keep it in your file. And then you could determine when to use each different story or each joke, what presentation they fit into, what part of the sales process they fit into, or you could determine not to use it at all. So we already know, make them think and make them cry to make them buy, but just as powerful, make them laugh and make them freaking buy. This is a mentorship motivator. Any questions, comments, put them down below. I will talk to you later. You are fucking awesome. No excuses.